Are you looking for a simple solution to set up a microphone on your desktop? This video is gonna cover how to set up your on-stage desktop microphone stand. Check it out. What's up, my name is Matthew Stratton, helping you create music on this channel. I'll do setup videos, tutorials, and overviews just like this one. If you're new here, consider subscribing. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Right here I have the on-stage brand. So that's the brand of it. This is actually on-stage stands. And this is the DS7200 desktop microphone stand. I'm just gonna open up this box and show you what comes in it and show you how to set it up. The final result is going to be something like this. So stay tuned to this video. Let's go ahead and get right into it right now. And just so you're aware, this does come in two different colors. This particular one is the black shaft. There's also a chrome shaft that you could get. All right, so this is the black one. And I will leave links in the description of this video if you're curious about this particular mic stand. But let's go ahead and open it up right here just to show you that all of this is actually contained right here. All right, so it's very simple. That's everything in the box. And it's very simple to set up. You just got two pieces, okay? And then you basically take this long piece right here. It's got a little branding on it. It says on stage. And you just put it into the base. So the base to this microphone is actually a six inch diameter base and it weighs two and three quarter pounds. And the actual height adjustment of it is eight and a half inches to 13 inches. And this is able to hold heavy microphones. I have this Rode microphone here set up on it. I've been using it for a while and it holds it very solidly with no issues. Um, it, there's no real chance of it tipping over unless you really hit it hard. So it's a really nice microphone stand. And to show you on the base here, there are five different rubber paddings here. So it does stay in place on your desk pretty well. You don't really have to worry about it moving too much. Um, and you don't have to worry about it like scraping your desk because it does have that rubber on the bottom of it. So what you gotta do is take the base of it, lay it flat with the feet you know, on the desk. And then you could take this long metal portion here. There are actually threads here on this and they go into the threads here in the base. You put it in like this and then you turn it. And it's very important to line it up directly over the top of it so it does actually screw in. And once you go ahead and get it all the way screwed in, you're, you're pretty much good to go in that regard. And I will say you can go ahead and try to get it tight. You don't want to like over tighten it, but you do want to make sure it's sturdy so it doesn't move around on you. And there you go. So that's pretty much that part there. It's not going anywhere. It's solid. And then you have this other portion here. And what I want to show you is this microphone. This is a Shure Beta 58A. It's a standard dynamic microphone. I'm going to go ahead and just screw it on the top here. Now you do need this part, all right? So this actually came with this microphone. You do need this part. It doesn't come with this part. So generally, whenever you buy a microphone, it will come with this piece. Again, to attach this is very simple. It's just like the previous step. You would just put it directly on top of the threads. So you line these threads up with the threads on the mic stand. And then you simply screw it in. All right. And once that's screwed in, you know, you want to make sure that it's pretty tight. Now you'll notice there are a couple different areas here. So you have this portion here, which is actually adjustable. So if you turn it, all right, you can actually pull it up like that and you can adjust the height of it. And once you get the height where you want it, you can simply screw it tight. All right, so I'm turning it to the left to get it tight, which is actually clockwise. You turn it counterclockwise to loosen it and to tighten it, you turn it clockwise and the same with the threading, okay? And then there's this piece here. There's like a little metal piece here and you simply just, you can screw this up to kind of make it 
um, tight right there and then you're all set up in that regard. Now on this, you do want to make sure that this is tight enough for your microphone. All right, and on this particular one, there is a spot for like a screwdriver right there to tighten it where you want it. Once that's set up, you would simply take your microphone and put it in this part of the microphone stand. And that's all there is to it. So once you have the microphone set up in your stand, you will plug your mic cable in, plug your mic cable into your audio interface, your mixing board, whatever you're using at the moment, and you're all set up. This is a great solution for a tabletop microphone. And you can see I can get the microphone in a nice position here, and this is gonna suit me very well whenever I wanna record uh, you know, anything from the desktop, or if I wanna do a Zoom meeting or do a live stream. I'm pretty much set up right there. Again, this is the on-stage stand, tabletop microphone stand. I will leave a link in the description for this if you do want to purchase this item. I've been using this for a while now. I actually bought a separate one. And actually, I have three of these now. I like these so much that I actually bought three of these um, for different reasons. And you can see I have my condenser microphone on this one and I have my dynamic microphone on this one. And they're set up. All right, no problems, and we're good to go. Again, I'll leave a link for it in the description. If you wanna see more videos about microphones and microphone stands, go ahead and click or tap the screen over here. It's gonna take you to a playlist so you can check out more videos. My name is Matthew, continue creating music. We'll talk soon. Peace.